Hey guys, Blocks4000 here, and welcome back to some more Portal Stories in Mel. In the last episode, some more stuff happened, and a strange voice said it is flooding the facility with a toxic goo. And now we've reached this area, which will help us get to the surface. Well, not the surface, the top layer. And, uh, anyway guys, yesterday the, uh, the Team Fortress 2 gunmetal update came out, and... Something really, really stupid about that update happened to me and a lot of other people. On For Mac users, so I mean, I'm not really sure if it happens for all Mac users, but for most Mac users, I'm just gonna say that, it crashes every time they try to join a server. So, either it just doesn't work on Mac, or the update is just complete crap. And, yeah, it sucks because I really, really want to test out this new update because apparently it's really good. It's like the first big update in like seven months or whatever. But it just, I can't play it and it sucks. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, out of anger, while, or when that happened, out of anger, I played Team Fortress 2. And then, no, sorry, out of anger, I played Half Life 1. Yeah, I rage played Half Life game. Uh, I rage played Half Life 1. That game always calms my nerves. I'm sorry guys, I can't talk today for some reason. Anyway, um, sorry I didn't do an episode yesterday. Uh, I don't really- I was busy yesterday and stuff. I actually went to this really really cool game shop called AMC World. It's like a, uh, a return game shop almost. It's really cool actually. I found a lot of N64 classics, a lot of, uh, I found a lot of, like, SNES games, NES games, lots of GameCube games. I've, I i do not know about you guys, but GameCube is my favorite system. I guess it's because my, it's because, I guess it's because it's my nostalgic system. Like, I played it when I was, I played it when I was, uh, young, when I was a little kid. Uh, and, yeah, it's, it's probably my favorite uh, Nintendo system, and probably my favorite console in general. And, yeah, I know that the GameCube was Nintendo's more selling system, but still. Come on, why can't I get up here? Is it supposed to be doing this? Okay, you know what? You know, hey, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Um, uh, hey, why is this happening? Come on, there we go. So, let's just see why this is happening. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know why, that, that, that's kind of my catchphrase lately. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's one of the skips quotes in Deep Fortress 2, but... Yeah. Anyways, so, now, what we have to do now is a little bit strange, but, hold on a sec, just zoom in right there, and shoot right there. There we go. Now we've created a, a pathway ishness. Alright, there we go. Now we're up here. Um, and we're at the pump station, which is great. So let's just go ahead and pull that lever, push that lever. Now, we have to go turn on the other lever, because of course there's only one. And, uh, and this way, because of course there's two levers. So now, yeah, so I guess, I really don't know why I, I can't talk today for some reason, like, every single thing that I've said is kind of a screw up. And, anyway, so, uh, let's just create a bigger runway, the longest runway ever. Now, one thing we have to do right now, is shoot right there, and now we have to shoot our orange portal right there. So now, yeah. Yeah, it, this part isn't too hard. All you have to do is just be able to unleash your inner aperture tag and make your head. And so, there we go. We did it. Um, and now we have reached the other gel control room thing. Uh, My records show that at least two people were needed to activate the bolt hatch. You're one person. There's a bit of a problem there. I'm sure we can figure something else. Yep, it's another one of these things. Um, not that hard. Only problem is that the portal surfaces really do not look that portal surfacey. And now, I actually got stuck there for a while. I was like, why is nothing happening? And then I realized I had to pull that lever. So now, uh, like, uh, what? Also. Ominous again. It's it's just 
it's just too much. I can't look. I can't look. It's too obvious. Uh, just sneak in a few more peeks. Uh -huh. oh. Ah, great. You're smarter than I thought. Not a genius like me, but <laughs> still. Uh, take the elevator up to me. I'm in the junkyard just outside the hatch. It's finally time for me to repay my end of the deal. And so guys, with that, we have reached the top layer. Well, almost. All we have to do is get inside the lift and just get up there. That would be great. And there we go. Now, just bounce my way over there. Yeah. I've actually been practicing through Super Mario Sunshine due to my uh, let's play coming soon. Uh, yeah, I've been playing through it. And, hold on a sec. What in the world am I supposed to do? Okay. I don't know if this is actually what I'm supposed to do. It probably isn't. But, oh, okay. I see. I see what I gotta do. I'm gonna show you guys the actual way. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the actual way because the way I've done it before is not the right way to do it. Um. Let me just get up there. Yeah, I don't know. I want to show you guys the actual way. I'm trying to do a let's play of this game, not a, uh, not anything else. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. So, let's go. Sweet. We did it. Now, just jump onto this height and jump onto that. There we go. That's the way you're supposed to do it. And now, we're going up towards the super futuristic looking surface. By the way, guys, have you, have you guys seen the uh, new Portal 1 mod that's coming out soon called Portal Outside Influence? It actually looks super cool. It, I don't know. I, I haven't played a whole lot of Portal. You're a short walk to the new animation center from here. We'll meet up shortly. And, good news, we're not going to have to worry about the goo eating us alive. I'll seal up the hatch, and we don't have to worry about that anymore. That's definitely a plus. And so, guys. Anyway, so yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Portal Outside Influence actually looks really, really cool. I haven't played a whole lot of Portal One mods. I've mainly played Portal Two mods, but out of all the Portal One mods, Outside Influence looks really cool. Uh, you should guys, you should guys should go check it out. It's on Steam Greenlight. Um, and so. Just all you have to do to search to get Portal Outside Influence is just search uh, Portal Mod, or you could just search Portal Outside Influence. Either one will get you the result. And uh, there's also a really really cool Portal Two mod coming out called Portal Alive and Kicking that seriously looks awesome. It's it's literally making my inner geek cry. Okay, Portal Alive and Kicking is a third party complete total remake. Of Portal 1. You know Black Mesa, the uh, Half-Life 1 mod, and no, sorry, the, the Source mod that recreates Half-Life 1 in source, source graphics? Well, that's exactly what Portal Alive and Kicking is, but it's for Portal. And so it has new and improved graphics, new models, all that stuff. It looks so freaking cool. Not to mention, there's also Portal Abyss, which is another mod that I don't really know a whole lot about, but it's basically it basically combines the Portal and Half-Life series together. I don't really know if it's ever going to come out because it's only being made by one guy, but it's uh, it's pretty decent. You should just go check out all these Portal Portal mods. Another thing that really, really pisses me off is that Conversion was cancelled. The reason why? This game came out. Um, Conversion was a mod that I was really, really excited for. It was like a prelude to Portal 2. And when this game came out, they cancelled it because it was too similar to this game, because this game takes place before Portal 2. And anyway, so... Ah, oh, great! You're here! I can finally get out of this technological nightmare! If you can get into the offices, I'm saved. You just might have to get around a few security fences, though, trying to keep the giant human-eating rats out. And so, here we are on the top layer, and it looks really creepy, actually. I don't know. This kind of reminds me of, like, some horror game that I'm not gonna mention because you already all know what it is. And so... Let's find our way. What, did I even do that right? I don't think I did that right. Hold on a sec. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, no. Uh, wait, I'm so confused right now. Alright, hold on. Let's okay. just go here, and now. Where's that? There's the hole. There we go. That, wait, what? 
No. 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 Yes, that's what I gotta do. And so, let's go. Jump. Go. Right. I fail. I always fail. There's always something that makes me fail. Alright. What? That was not supposed to happen. That was... Oh, okay. Well, that explains it. That explains it so much. Alright. That is why we were fucking up. Because we actually had to do this. And so... What does that mean? It means we suck. Well, I suck. Alright, wait for it. Just have to inch my way closer to it. Sure, I made it. Yeah. And so... Here we go, guys. We're about to meet... Hey! The floor is getting quite cold here! We are about to meet a really, really cool character after this light area. Here hey, we are. Hey! Uh, over here! I'm right over here! Hey, Mel! Nice to finally see you. It's kind of dark here, though. You should turn the power on so we can get the lights working. There's more officers on the other side of the double doors. Check there. Turn the power on first, then pick me up. Yep. Virgil, I don't know, I really like him. Like, I, I honestly, I like all the fours. They look cool. They look kind of cute, too. I don't know why, but yeah, I really, really like Virgil and all the characters and everything. Um, I don't know. I like, I like Wheatley, Nigel, and Virgil. They're all really, really cool characters. Virgil is probably, I don't know. Next Lights. to- Check. Camera. Check. Action. Hopefully not. Detecting power surge at subbasement station 26. Threat level moderate. Activating security protocols. Uh, so much for no action. Come back and pick me up. Alright, first of all, there's an achievement you can get. I don't know if I already have it, but... Okay, I guess I already do have the chat. I do have the achievement where you have to jump beside the electric water. Anyway, so yeah, I really, really like Virgil. Next to, um... Next... Lights. Check. Come on. Camera. So. Check. Shut Action. Up. Hopefully not. Yeah, check. Detecting power surge at sub-basement station 26. Threat level moderate. Activating security protocols. Uh, so much for no action. Come back and pick me up. Anyways, so yeah, next to next to Wheatley, I love Virgil a lot. Nigel, kind of. I don't know. Nigel's a cool character, but he's not quite as cool. He's still per he's still funny though. Anyway. Whew. Good. That floor was getting very cold. My motherboard was almost going critical. <laughs> All right. I know what you're thinking. Hey, Mr. Virgil Gorgai. How were you able to control everything and see everything in the old testing facility? Well, one simple answer. Wi-Fi. Okay. I'm fully Wi-Fi capable. Anyway, take me over to the elevator control room. There's a management rail I can use to get back up to the enrichment center. Oh, and I um, can also get an elevator for you. So, here we ah, go. Much better. Good to be back on track again. Let me go back Literally back on track. get your elevator so we can get out of here. Yes. Literally back on track. And so, now, we are about this to- This should help. Oh. Oh. Th that wasn't me, I think. But- Detecting security override at basement 26. Generator override command initiated. It's that uh, voice override again. Override generator override command. guys. I don't know about you, but that seems very mysterious. Two mechanical targets. 
There's only me and Virgil, and I'm not mechanical. So there's a third target. Well, we'll figure out that later, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys I will uh see you guys later thanks for watching this episode of Portal Stories Mel it was a good episode we've met up with Virgil finally but that mysterious voice is trying to do bad stuff to us and yeah we got to the surface so you guys see you guys later